it is quarantine day two. Uh, we are going to get groceries today because um, we did not get groceries earlier. <laughs> or I came home and we hadn't gotten groceries. So anyways, we're getting groceries today. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to go outside your quarantine, but we actually have no food in the fridge or cupboards and we're just kind of going to try to stock up. You know what I don't like is how everyone is taking all of the toilet paper and all of the hand sanitizer and they're hoarding it and I'm like, I just don't understand what, what the purpose is. Like, what are you gaining? You're not gaining anything. I don't know, that's getting the whole thing. And I want these quarantine vlogs to be uplifting and funny and they're probably not funny at all, but <laughs> that's how life is. So, um, yeah. This is a melodica. I bought it because my choir director from high school said that it would be really cool for me to have he thought it was and also because um during the polar vortex last year I was bored so I bought it so what it is is it's like a keyboard but nothing's coming out why is nothing coming out well there's this tube that can be removed to clean which I probably should do and you blow into it still nothing so you have to blow into it and Obviously not the right keys or the right notes, but it's fun. It's keeping me occupied. And here's my jury piece that I won't be able to perform if we don't have school. So that's really fun. does. Even if it might not seem like it. It's harder to play when you have more than one note. You need more airflow. store and I got some um, goodies I can maybe do a haul when I get back I really only got like two things though so not that interesting so you guys might not know this about me but I hate grocery shopping like I can't stand it I don't know what it is about it if it's just like the stress of like knowing I'm gonna have to make this food later or like I have to buy it and budget and plan it and cook it and it's just it's a whole thing like I like to cook if someone gives me the ingredients and a recipe, like, I'm fine. But if I have to come up with all that on my own, like, I'm not good at that. So I don't really like grocery shopping, but you know. <laughs> hasn't really been a super eventful day well I saw someone I knew in the grocery store 
and I thought they would say hi to me and they didn't and I'm like kind of offended by it because I thought we were really good friends but they didn't say hi to me so if you're out there you know who you are you know who you are you didn't wave to me anyways I just feel like everyone secretly hates me that's my problem coming out but that didn't really help <laughs> Okay, as promised, I'm going to do a haul of what I got. Ugh, I didn't even get anything. I got this um, paddle ball, Je Jeu de Racket, for some all day fun. And I don't know about you, but I think these, so these are like low key one of my favorite things, my favorite products. Um, I just had a flashback to Emma Chamberlain's first video that I watched of hers, which was something about the dollar store, which is where I got this. Um, not trying to copy her, but I will say um, the dollar store has some great finds. If any of you ever watch the show Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, there's this episode where the main character, Blue, he like gets a paddle ball and he tries to learn how to use it and he's just really, really bad. Um, that's me. Unless I'm doing it down. Okay, also this string, I feel like they're usually not this long. This is like an absurdly long string. Like normally mine are like this long and then they're a lot easier. But what I've learned is if you start by trying to paddle down, you can't really see it. It works a lot better. <laughs> Put that away. All right, my second purchase was I got some canvases because I really, I really want to paint. I painted a Bob, I painted a picture from a Bob Ross video once, and it was so fun. Here it is. I'm really proud of it. I like. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> but I'm hoping I can make some more. We'll see. My other thing I got, y'all are gonna laugh at me. I really like slime. Like it's my weakness, is slime. And so I got Poodoo. It says squishy goo poo. And uh, oh my gosh, should I be a beauty guru? Can I see it? Can you see it? <laughs> um, but I got that. And it's basically just, it's just slime. Can you hear it? ASMR. I feel like that's so gross. But also it said it's sticky and it's not sticky at all. Um, also it also said it's stretchy and it just ripped. So it lied. False advertising. I'm suing. No, I'm not. I'm not suing. I can't do that. I am too broke to do that. I'm a college student and college students have zero dollars. That was not correct Spanish. I apologize to everyone that I just offended by saying that. At the other store, I got some other things. I got these two books. I got The Shack. I think it's a movie. I don't know. I just kind of grabbed it because I thought I'd heard of it before. I don't really know what it's about, but I'm probably going to read that at some point. I also got The Book Thief because I've never read this book, but I really want to. And I also really want to watch the movie, but I don't. I'm someone who likes to read the book first and then watch the movie. That's what I did with Five Feet Apart, which also would highly recommend reading that book and watching that movie because ah, beautiful, wonderful film. Okay, you guys, I have never ever been able to successfully find a pair of mom jeans that fits until today they don't have a pocket which is kind of a bummer and they're also like five sizes too big but like since they're mom jeans and they're not jeggings like they fit um, also they don't look that big i mean I don't, I don't know but you guys they have a canadian leaf a oh my 
gosh, Maria, a maple leaf, a Canadian leaf. I've always wanted to go to Canada. It's never happened, but one day, one day it will happen. But it has a maple leaf. So I was like, it's a sign. But I was thinking of making them into shorts because I think that could be kind of fun. I'm sorry, I really struggle staring at this. I want to look at what is what you guys are looking at. But I need to look at you guys so that you guys watch me. I don't know. And then the other thing I got was this red flannel. I used to have red flannel that my friend gave me. And then I washed it and it shrunk. So it did not fit anyone. So I gave it away. Um, but now I have a new one. Ooh, ah, hmm. Okay, so ignore how gross my mirror looks and my awful video quality, but these are the pants. I also realized, oh my gosh, can my camera just stop? I realized I don't really know how to style mom jeans because I've never owned a pair that actually fits me. Also, I'm wondering, maybe I'll like try to fray them or like make holes in them. Does anyone know how to do that? Leave a comment below if you know how to do that. Oh my gosh, I hate that I just said leave a comment below. Mm, whatever. Um, but yeah, these are the jeans. Right? And then this is the flannel. Um, I have a story about this flannel. So when I was holding it on the hanger in the store, I was walking past this guy, and um, my mom was talking to him, and he says, oh, she's going to look good in that flannel. And I was like, what the frickin'? So I just like walked away and was like shaking my head, like, Mom, please like don't talk to him. And then I heard him go, is she trying to attract a farmer boy? And I'm like, sir? Sir? No. Anyways, that's why I hate my town.